So, today I figured I'd sit down in front of the camera and kind of explain to you guys where the hell I've been for the last four months, roughly. So, a lot has happened in the last four months, and I know that you guys have noticed I haven't been as active on here as I would like to be, um, and so on and so forth. You guys would get random reviews every now and again, I mean... I gave you guys a Training Girl review almost a month ago, um, and haven't really been active since then, at least on YouTube, um, by producing video-wise, at least. I'm still active, I'm still there, um, I still reply to your guys' comments, I still reply to you guys' messages, you guys will shoot me messages on Twitter and Instagram or comment on my stuff, and I always try to reply to you, back to you guys and talk to you guys, and so on, and I'm definitely trying, um, but life has been very, very, very crazy over the last, we'll say, four months. So, a little bit of a snapshot into kind of my life, I guess. So, back at the, oh, we'll go back six months ago. Um, I decided while at Bath & Body Works that I no longer wanted to be there. Um, and the fact of, I, knew, I wanted to pursue bigger things. I wanted to go places that I'd be making more money. And not that you couldn't do that at Bath & Body Works, but with the situation at my particular location, the advancement opportunities were very slim and very limited. Um, not that they weren't there, because they definitely were. It's just they weren't coming in the fastest way that I would want them to be, and so on and so forth. And um, as you guys know, some of my friends worked there. And I'm still really good friends with a lot of those people, and I mean no harm to them at all. And I don't want to go off and just bash and say that Bath & Body Works was a terrible place, because it wasn't. It was one of my favorite, favorite jobs I've ever had. I was there for almost a year. I just decided that it was time to no longer be there. So, beginning of August, I left Bath & Body Works um, to pursue other jobs. And at the time, I did not have another job lined up. And it was not the best decision at the time, uh, but circumstances being what they were, I left Bath & Body Works. So, fast forward to that same week. And I don't want to say what I'm about to say in a mean way, but it really, really, really bothers me in a certain aspect. So, I left Bath & Body Works. I believe it was a Monday or a Tuesday. I think it was a Tuesday. And I had, you know, started applying for other jobs. I had started applying for other jobs before then. Um, and a lot of the job opportunities were falling through or not going where I wanted them to be. Because a lot of them didn't understand the concept of I wanted to give my part-time job a two-week notice. Um... Just because I felt like it was right and it was something I needed to do. And I call. I had an interview. I was working with one place to set up an interview. And I ended up interviewing with them and just wasn't pleased with the company and the way it was run. And certain things that happened there. And I put my resume up on Indeed and started looking for other jobs. And I came across a job in which I applied for, and within two hours of me submitting my resume, they gave me a call back um, and wanted to conduct a phone interview. And conducted the phone interview. Phone interview went amazing. They asked me to come in that Friday for uh, a first in-person interview. So I went ahead and did that. That went great. Um, I did the you know the exam and stuff that they wanted me to do. Um, and they called me back on Monday and said, we would like to do an in-person interview. Said, not a problem. I'll, you know, tell me when and whatever. I can do it. Granted, at this point, I was only working one job. So I don't want you guys thinking I quit Bath & Body Works and did not have any income. I did have another job. 
Um, I've worked at one place for five years. I've been there, you know, February will be my fifth anniversary. And I, I was there, so I had backup, a backup job. Um, I just needed to find a new full-time job. Because Bath Body Works wasn't full-time um, by the American standard. But I was there between 20 and 30 hours a week. Plus, where it was at, I was driving at least 10 hours a week in total. Um, so it was like a full-time job. And I knew I could handle it for the most part. So started looking for a new full-time job. Um, wanted 40 hours a week. I wanted similar pay to what I was getting paid. And I stumbled upon the space. So they asked me to come in for a, a second in-person interview. I went in for a second in-person interview. It went great. And I was like, okay, well, we'll see what happens from here. Now, granted a couple months before, you know, about a month before this, I had to find another place and they said, you know, if, you know, they had me, I went in for an interview, interview was great, the lady said, yeah, we'll probably, we're, you know, we're definitely going to hire you, um, we're just going to go ahead and run your background check, and once we get that back, we'll do a drug test. Nothing's on my background, nothing, I don't do drugs, so neither one of those were going to come back bad, and I knew that was fine. So, I applied for this job, a, you know, a couple months ago, different, completely different place than what I'm talking about now, but I had applied there. Did everything, lady said it was great, ran my background check, and she said it'll take, it, it could take up to two weeks for you to hear back. And I said, okay, well, let me know so that I can get my other job at two-week notice. And I called and called and called and called and called, and it wasn't like the lady was avoiding me. It literally, like, she just never answered. And I would leave voicemails, and she just wouldn't call me back. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'm done dealing with these people. Obviously, they don't want me for whatever reason. Maybe they filled a position and found somebody else better. Who the hell knows? So I just kind of dropped it off and left it alone. Went and had my second in-person interview. And it went great. I was pretty confident and I was that I was going to get that job. Um, that I had the second in-person interview. I come back out to my car from that second in-person interview. And there's a voicemail on my phone from the place that I had pretty much dumped about a week ago saying, you know what, you guys, you know, guys aren't calling me, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, look elsewhere, and they offered me a position. And I was like, we'll see how my in-person interview goes. If these people offer me a job, then I'm not gonna call her back, but if they don't offer me a job, then I'll call her back. So, Friday, um, and this is when I went to Chicago, um, I got a call from this place saying, we would like to offer you a position. Hands down, took it instantly. No questions asked. Instantly took this position. It was kind of a dream position in the fact of what I do. I have really good customer service skills. I've done customer service for so long that it's kind of a customer service position, but it's a like 180 from what I'm used to doing. I've always done retail and stuff like that, and this is a complete 180 from what I was doing. Um, so... Instantly took that position without any questions asked, um, and I actually never ended up calling back the other place. So, they offered me the position, and literally, I left Bath and Body Works on the 3rd, and I had a new job by the 9th. So this is where, and I mean, that was me being picky. And so my thing is, I had so many places that I had applied and gotten interviews for in that week, that I hate when I hear people say, oh, I can't get a job. Okay, you can get a job, you're just being picky, and you don't want to take the positions that, you know, are being offered to you, or you don't want to at least get a shitty position for a little bit until you can find something better. So, not that the position I have now is shitty at all. I love my position I'm in now. So, got that job, went to Chicago, had about two weeks off, and I think you guys got a lot of videos in those two weeks, or I filmed some videos in those two weeks and uploaded them later. But I was off from my main job, which was Bath and Body Works, for two weeks, and I still had my other job. So I still was working about 40 hours a week, but it was a different way than I'm, what I'm doing now. So started my new job at the end of August, and it was 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, for six weeks. On top of my other job that I was working 40 hours a week. So I'm here working 80 hours a week, and that's when my channel really started to decline. Um, you guys might have gotten blocks of videos that I would have recorded on a Saturday and uploaded them later, or I might have just stayed up really late one night and couldn't sleep, and you guys would have got some videos. Um, but 
honestly, I wanted to do a lot more videos, but it's just time. I couldn't really do it, and so I kind of started putting you guys on the back burner, which I'm very, very sorry for, but I was always trying to be at least active on my social medias so you guys had something from me. So, fast forward, did the six weeks of training, and then went to my, what is my normal schedule, which is now 1 to 10, and I still work my other job on top of that. So I'm still working, uh, I changed my schedule at my other job a little bit, so I'm only working about 76 hours a week now, not 80, four hours doesn't really make a difference, but still. So I cannot say in any way that I've ever been happier in my life, because I have been. This is amazing. I, I mean I've never been happier in my life, in, in my entire life. I found a position in which I fit in, and I've never felt more in place at a job. I love Bath & Body Works. I love being friends with people there. I made some great relationships with people there, but I felt like I was too invested in my passion for Bath & Body Works and fragrances and stuff like that before I went into working at Bath & Body Works. I feel like that kind of hindered the job aspect of it. Um, so I wasn't enjoying the job as much as I possibly could have. So in my new position, I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to get too into my personal life, but working about 40 hours a week and making more money than I've ever made in my entire life. And not that that's at all relevant, but it's definitely different to take a breath, step back and look at my age, look where I'm at and say, you know, I don't understand people my age who continue to bitch, whine, and moan about all this other stuff. So, in my, I love my new job, and I'm finally at a point now where I feel like I can kind of take a step back and really start to work YouTube back into my schedule. I'm finally getting comfortable with my schedule the way it, it is now, and working the hours I am working, that I can definitely start doing more YouTube videos, which I'm definitely going to plan on doing. So, I'm back. I don't know exactly what I'm going to start doing. I want to start doing at least videos every Friday, because um, I feel like that's the best way it's going to work into my schedule. So, you guys will hopefully start getting new videos every single Friday, whether it's just a sit-down talk you video like this, or if it is a new review of either something I've had for a while, or something new that I've gotten in the last four months, or whatever it may be. I'm definitely trying to fit a lot of stuff into my schedule and do things for you guys um, that I should have been doing months ago. So, long story short, I'm back. Um, indefinitely, I'm staying back. Um, definitely want to be more active for you guys. I definitely want to do more videos that you guys want to see and stuff like that. So, you know, you guys, I always want you to request videos. Please, 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 I cannot stress enough how much I request you guys to request videos because... It honestly helps me give you guys the content that you want, and I want to make sure I'm giving you the content you want, and all that fun stuff. So, um, as a normal YouTube thing is, I would like you guys to hit the little bell, because that lets you guys know when I upload new videos, because YouTube decided to be janky, and do this, we're not going to notify people when they upload videos anymore. So, who knows. But anyway, always, you know, hit that thing, let people, you know, let me know you guys want to see my videos. I'm so, so glad to be back, and stay tuned to my channel because there is going to be a brand new review after this video on my channel for Pitbull Cuba Woman. So, as always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, it is Perfume, and Instagram, among the stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, and as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.